Hello, something a little bit different in today's video is more to life than sneakers and fake sneakers, believe it or not. So my laptop, uh, unfortunately one of my kids spilled an entire cup of milk directly onto the keyboard of my MacBook. So I'm heading into the uh, electronics market there in Guangzhou to check it out. It's pretty big, pretty cool. It's not as crazy as the one you'll see all over YouTube, that's Shenzhen, but uh, let's go and check it out together and let's see how much it costs to get my laptop fixed. So the camera that I'm using today is this one. It's pretty cool. It's a DJI Action 2. It had a lot of problems, uh, which DJI subsequently fixed with this uh, case they put around it, this metallic case, which disperses the heat and stops the thing overheating when you're filming in 4K. That is a problem. But I like it because you can, that's the wrong way around, you can clip it straight on like that. And it's a wearable camera, which I think is pretty damn cool. Uh, a lot less conspicuous when you're wearing a jacket, but it's still cool. Um, so today, so before I head to the market, the electronics market, we're gonna go buy some electronics, which seems silly, but when it comes to getting real, genuine, good quality products, I like to get it from the original shop, just in case I need like to return it or whatever. So we're gonna go to the DJI shop and pick up the mic two for this, the wireless mic, um, and then we will get going into the market. <laughs> Testing one two. So as you've seen from my um market videos when I go to the fake markets a market doesn't just consist of one building this place is absolutely sprawling it is huge it goes across streets and streets and streets and each street has a different thing going on so up that way you've got white goods your fridges freezers um, and TVs as well. You've got lighting up that street as well. Um, across the way there is where you've got all your little gadgets. I've done a video on there ages ago on my old channel, like maybe five years ago. I'm sure it's changed since then. Across the street to the other direction, over that way, you've got the secondhand market. That place is absolutely rammed full of phones old second-hand phones and laptops uh, well it speaks for itself doesn't it not just a clever name second-hand market but um, I think we'll start there I'll have a quick look through there um, because upstairs is where you do tend to find some repair places but across there we've also got repairs going on and down the street there so let's go and have a look we'll start in the second-hand building see what we can find because you know what my videos are like. I love a good detour. It's never just one thing. Of course, I'm trying to get my laptop fixed, but that's just an excuse to go into the market, really, because I love checking out everything else that's available in these spots. As an aside, you know, China is so very safe. I've never really had anything bad happen to me personally, but this is the only place I have experienced crime where my friend had his bag stolen while he was looking at camera equipment. So, so um, yeah, it's, it's rife for the pickpocketing, given how busy everyone is looking at stalls and it was the perfect crime, really. My mate was checking out some lenses and obviously he was testing them out. And as his eye is looking through the viewfinder, some guy behind us, we saw it all on the CCTV afterwards, uh, kicked his backpack out from under his feet, passed it to someone else, who passed it to someone else. So I do have to mind myself in here keeping a hand on my phone in my pocket. This place is nuts though, absolutely nuts.
You probably noticed already that the vast majority of customers in here are African and Indian from African countries. That's because you can get a much cheaper price here and you can export your phone. Now, I did mention about crime or the lack thereof. Interestingly, I have bought phones here in the past, second-hand iPhones. And upon trying to use them back in the UK, they were blocked. The IMEI had been blocked. So, this is where a lot of phones that are stolen overseas end up because that blacklist is not shared by all countries so you get a blocked phone in the UK or somewhere in Europe it's gonna work in China and it's definitely gonna work in Africa so worth checking the IMEIs on the phones that you buy in here honestly because I'm not trying to buy anything today. I'm not going to spend much time in here, but just give you a quick look at what this place is like. You get a sense of scale, a sense of the mayhem. The sheer amount of phones that are available in here is just another level. And apart from the odd uh, bit of stolen merchandise, you don't really have any problems with the stuff that's for sale here. Okay, out of the second-hand building, heading over to where I'm hoping to find some repairs. Look, if you can't find it here, you're not gonna find it anywhere. There is, of course, as I mentioned at the start of this video, the Shenzhen. Shenzhen, you're gonna have um, a lot more action going on there in terms of like custom-built PCs and stuff like that. That place is insane. Oh, but this is just a smaller version of that, except it has a lot more toys and gadgets for sale. Drones, battery packs, phone, phone covers, accessories, absolutely everything. Are not necessarily all good, there's different levels of quality in here. But if you need cables, massage guns, speakers, fake JBL. PS5s, packed PS4s with every single game built in, walkie-talkies. Everything and anything. Hello? Now, unless the place has changed massively, uh, my repairs place is going to be upstairs. I think it's up there. Have a look. If not, it might be the next building over. Not been here for a long time.
Ah, this isn't the spot. This is not the place. This is just more of the same from downstairs. Uh, oh, oh. Not here. It was in the second hand place. I'll go back there. All these refurbished second hand stuff. It looks brand new actually. Because they've got all the accessories to replace them. Excuse me. They got all the equipment to um, and all the accessories, all the screens, all the components to make, basically make a brand new computer. So it's not like buying a second hand thing back home where it'll have like dents and stuff in it. You're basically getting a brand new machine. It's pretty cool. Okay, we're getting into it now. Let's try here. Nihao. Uh, what a what a MacBook. What's Shaarling,二年的 这个客人还在那里啊<笑> 450 He's saying he needs a whole new keyboard I'm not having that I don't agree with that I could do it myself I could pry it open 
pry up each individual key and clean each one. But I don't really fancy doing that, to be honest. Because last time I did it, I broke a few keys. Let's try some other spots. I wonder if someone will just clean it rather than offering a new keyboard. I don't need a new keyboard. Let's try this one. Yeah. Uh, so this is 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 this Mm. Feel free to call me lazy in the comments. Uh, I clearly could have done this myself, but when there's experts available, I'd rather hand over to them. I don't want to break any more keys on that bloody keyboard. It's annoying enough having that skip button. The right arrow pressing down by itself every now and then skipping videos you know what it might be time for a new computer but not today if you're into your old cameras this is the spot to come to They got it all, man. They got every single video camera you could ever want from the past. As well as some new stuff. Pretty cool. As I was saying earlier about the computers, when you're getting second hand stuff, it's not a case of getting an old knackered thing. Because here, he's just rebuilding a lens. It looks mad as, I mean, that looks like some kind of dystopian scene, some Blade Runner stuff going on, but he's, uh, he's cleaning up the inner lens. Fresh batch of cameras arriving. This place is just crazy. His father just dropping off multiple camera bodies and off he goes. Don't even blink an eye, new ones arrived. He's got him straight into it. This place really is a photographer's dream. You don't need to pay full whack for brand new lenses. And especially when it gets into like the mad expensive L lenses. Why not get a refurbished one? Look at the options available back there. I'm not going to mess around asking for prices today because I'm not buying and I just, I, I hate wasting people's time like that. But um, really, I just want to share the location because it's just bonkers, man. Everything here in China is on just a different scale. It really is, man. They've got markets like this for absolutely everything. It's not just your electronics and your fashion. You know, I've seen markets like this for toilets, there was a whole street, streets and streets. We've got the pet markets, any industry, any industry, you name it, there'll be a market here in China for it. It's where all your stuff is produced, so it just makes sense that the components 
the bits and pieces that make up your devices. They're all here as well. Look at that man, just an absolutely bonkers scene. There's some method to his madness, I'm sure. He knows where everything is. A bit like my bedroom. Before my wife tells me to tidy it up. There's clearly some method to the madness here. I'm sure this fella, he knows where every single thing is in here. But that is just a nightmare to look at. Um, you know, everyone's got a drawer like this in their house. But a whole room. Fella's just building a new point and shoot back there. Here we've got some lenses being fixed, a whole camera body here being disassembled, reassembled. How does one acquire those skills? On a third floor now are home appliances and speakers, TVs. What's crazy about this market is you turn a corner and it's just completely different stuff but again on the same silly scale. 
forgot that musical instruments were in here. And speakers, visually not so exciting. We'll keep going up here. I just hope I can find my way back to um, where my computer is being fixed. Because this place is just a maze. I have to, I have to go back to my old footage. I have to go back to the clips I took before and find that shop. Hopefully the shop number is in shot. Wow. It's a new model. Neil Tim Wu. It's like 600, 600 bucks to 700 bucks for these massive TVs. It's the LG, Slim Slim. So yeah, it's LG. Mm -hmm. 5500. How big is it? 75. 75-inch TV for 5,500 RMB. This is all R-show. Not I don't know what the conversion is. She's here. Oh, she's here. I don't know how that works that they can have the genuine LG TV, but this is the thing, right? In the West, you'd buy it from Walmart or whatever, you know, in America, I don't know, Best Buy, Target, I don't know, where do you buy your TVs in America? I don't know. It feels sketchy getting a TV from this sort of place, especially when it's a foreign brand. But where are those TVs made? That's the question. Like, where's LG, Samsung making their TVs? Korea, China? It's not something I know enough about. It's something I will explore because that is very interesting that you can get a 75 inch TV back there for what I think is a very low price of $5,500. Uh, RMB, sorry. So that's like, I think that's like $500. I don't know the conversion rate off the top of my head. I'll check it after I stop filming. But. I would rather buy one of these than uh, my Xiaomi TV. Because my Xiaomi broke after a year. Damn. 
that's definitely a purchase I will have to make off camera and not reveal to the wife how much I paid for it. No, I'm joking. Um, I'm sure we could come here and get a good deal on a good TV. I'll have to convince her. She won't be convinced. She'll want to get hers from one of the official shops, just as I did with my DJI mic. It makes sense. But then we bought this only from a real shop, and then it was broken after just, just within warranty they replaced it, gave us a new one, also broken. So what is the point, man? Just a waste of money. And the cool thing here is, if something breaks, you can just come back to this sort of place and get it fixed. Back home if your TV breaks, it's done. It's cooked. You'll have to get a new one. But yeah, to be explored in a future video. Next building we're going into is here. It's got mad amount of accessories, loads of fake eye watches, all of that stuff. You know I couldn't go a whole video without focusing on some rep stuff. I had to. Let's go and have a look. Look at these backpacks. So this place, just like the other buildings, goes on for row and row and row look this is just one row we're in right now it's about 600 meters 700 meters long and then there's multiple of them and this is just the ground floor there's five floors in here insane it's got everything you could ever want back in the day this is where i used to come uh would have been my ps3 i would have had hacked here and uh, a hard drive bought in the same shop plugged in had every had the entire ps3 library basically have they i think they have hacked the ps5 but you need an old version which they probably have here i bet they've got them i bet they got the old firmware here yes in fact it might have even been this shop Got the massage stuff, shavers, your massage guns, everything. Absolutely everything. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Ultra, a Fultra. It looks, you know, for all intents and purposes, it looks the same. It's light, very light. And these are running, I guess, some kind of version of Android. This is a bit snappier than the one I saw before. But it does look like it. I'm not wearing mine today to do a comparison for you. It's like a Just over a hundred for something that doesn't exactly emulate what an Apple Watch can do, but it will have the functions of like step counter. You can take phone calls on it through Bluetooth, all of that stuff. I've even seen versions of these with um, a little SIM card slot in, which is an upgrade on what Apple can give you. This very good quality now. You tell this okay, nothing fancy, okay. Yeah, yeah. English? English, okay. I, I speak it okay. Hello, hello. Welcome you to China Mobile. Please wait for me. Thank you very much. I've lived here for a long time, but thank you for welcoming me. Okay. 
，可以。还可以。这个这个很好的，这个是所有所有的艺人都有的。这个多少钱？这个你有几个？一个。这个他不用 internet 可以使用的。啊、哦。给你朋友这样嘛。五百多、嗯。这个就是不用无呃不用 WiFi， 不用 internet， 不用对不用网络。对，不用网络可以使用。这个是新款的，它可以拍照，然后还可以录音。然后所有全国语言都能够又通用，所有的语言都能通用。这个现在是也也可以用这个，不用网络吗？对对对，不需要网。我现在就是没有使用网络的，没有使用网络给你的，你看，没有使用。在哪里有中文？我要翻译，我要看一下。中文。你要中文，你可以。没有拍照反应可以吗？拍照反应，拍照反应我没试过。哦。对，你可以啊，对，哎，你可以试一下。对我，我是你。你可以在这里试一下看。好像里面在前面是吧？找了一个这样的。这个是。这个贝利裤的，这个蛮好的。可以吗？可是我觉得五百五百有一点贵啊。那你多少钱可以吗？交个朋友。One of my favorite things about these markets that cater to an international crowd is the scran that's available. Well, that pretty much concludes today's video. It was impromptu. I just wanted to get my laptop fixed, but I thought I would share some scenes while I was here. Now, let me know. If you watched, let me know. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, I'm uh, I'm open to it. Recently, I've just been filming my own private videos of my kids because I just feel like they're growing up so fast. I'm trying to capture as many memories as I can. But I might get back into the YouTube thing. I might start showing you about life in China because I genuinely love it here. And whenever a Westerner or a foreigner to China post positively about the place. People jump into the comments and say you're a shill for the CCP, you must be getting paid. Like, how could you say that about blah, blah, blah. Don't believe everything that the Western media tells you. That's all I'll say for now. That is a topic I will explore in the future on a separate video. A snide comments about just basically how much I love living here, the convenience of the place, how friendly everyone is. I love it. All right, I think that's enough from me. Catch you on the next video. Subscribe if you want to do all that stuff. Subscribe if you want. I'll never ask you to. 他们说的哦，那哪里哪里是标准？佛山？佛山不不，都是广，都是比较较近，有没去过？没去过。较近有好啊，你可以去看一下。讲、啊、的比较沉重的，真的没有多少雇员。那那在在在你老家，你<笑>每个地方有啊？这我觉得这是中国的特色。这呃，讲的比较好一点嘛，但是他们那个口音也是很重的。嗯，二这样、嗯，我觉得很好听。